Pop and YouTube Rifle Gaming here. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Troy Rifle here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Red Bull promotional codes for Destiny that should be coming here soon. Yes, for some of you that have not heard about this, there will be some Red Bull Destiny cans coming here soon. But before I get started with this video, if you could, please take a little bit of your time and like the video. It's much appreciated, everybody, and not to mention, it helps my channel grow the more you like and or share the video. But anyways, to get this started, first I'm going to be briefly discussing the Dying Light DLC and how the Dying Light community is handling their new DLC compared to Destiny's new DLC. How the giveaway works for the Dying Light DLC is, well, people have to be taking pictures of themselves drinking water. And water's free. Red Bull's not. That's all I have to say. It's kind of nice that Dying Lights community is doing that for their new DLC. They're pretty much, they're just giving it away to people. Just seeing people drinking water and they get the new DLC, which, it's kind of crazy. But anyways, back to the Red Bull. So when is Destiny actually supposed to be with Red Bull? When are we going to be seeing these in the stores and where at? Well, I'm going to be explaining that in this video. First off, Red Bull has outlined exactly what we'll be getting when we buy any specially marked can. And here's what we'll be getting, guys. First off, bonus XP. It's a one-time consumable. I'll go ahead and read it out loud for you all. Focus Light is a one-time consumable bonus XP buff, which increases all experience gained by 50% for a period of 30 minutes. Each specially marked can includes a code. Multiple codes can be redeemed, but only one code can be used at a time. So you get 50% more XP for 30 minutes, and you can also redeem multiple codes, but they have to be different codes. You can only use one code at a time. Just summarizing that, and that will be available July 1st, as you guys can see. But I have to say, this bonus XP is going to be pretty freaking useful to upgrade your guns and armor, and also even maybe level up your own character, if you haven't reached level 20 yet. I'm actually pretty pumped for the bonus XP, but that's not all it comes with. What's coming available on September 15th, is actually an epic new quest, as you guys can see. Destiny the Taken King. This epic new quest is a never-before-seen multi-stage mission in the Taken King that will test the speed and strategic abilities of Destiny players in new ways. And this is actually what I think they were discussing in a trailer, if you guys actually watched the Destiny trailer. Uh, the developers, they were actually saying that we'll be seeing challenges that might get us paused for a minute. And I think this might be one of the challenges that we're about to be encountering right here this epic new quest so we might get paused from it we might have to think a little differently while trying to maneuver through this mission who knows i'm hoping that i like puzzles and games i like trying to figure things out not just simply just running right through the whole mission and that's it i like trying to figure you know where to go it exercises your brain you know what i'm saying it makes it more intense i mean what's the fun in the game if it's not a challenge i guess that's just my opinion but hey it's true, video games can exercise the mind if they can be puzzling and challenging, which is one of the reasons why I like playing games. It keeps my mind active. We are constantly processing information while playing a video game. It's pretty nice, because we're having fun while playing the game. But anyways, enough about that. Their disclaimer actually reads, Quest exclusive to Red Bull promotion September 18, 2015 to December 31st, 2015. And it also says, No code required to access Quest after January 1st, 2016. And it also says code for bonus XP must be redeemed by July 31st, 2016. So we have plenty of time to buy that code. I mean, all the way until July 31st, 2016 to get that bonus XP. But we do not have plenty of time to get this exclusive quest. So keep that in mind, guys. It also said that the XP boosts aren't going to be the only promotion. At E3, people had said that they saw legendary faction class items with XP boosts as well. So keep that in mind, everybody. You know, the promotions could be different. But however, if you want the early access to the six-stage quest with exclusive rewards tied to its completion, then you'll need to snag at least one code. But if you're not going to get the code, it'll be available once again January 1st, 2016, guys. And also, everyone, this is kind of funny. These special cans will only be sold at first at 7-Eleven stores. I don't know what's with Bungie in the number 7. I mean, if you guys know about the obsession that Bungie has with the number 7, well, then you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't, well, Bungie is basically obsessed with the number 7. They're always subliminally putting it in to their games. And some of them, they're not even subliminal at all. But anyways, yeah, they're going to be sold at first at 7-Eleven stores. 
but will eventually move on to other retailers such as Walmart starting in August. The stores selling these cans will be limited to North America, guys, so keep that in mind for all you guys that are from North America. Don't know how many of you guys are from North America watching this, but keep that in mind. Sadly, they're going to be limited. But to wrap up this video, I guess I'll give you guys a few facts on why Red Bull decided to sponsor with Destiny. Why did these two huge brands decide to come together? The answer is obvious, to obviously grow with each other and increase sales together. I mean, this is a win-win for Red Bull. Let's take this in for a second, guys. As you guys can see here, skip the beginning text. I mean, of course, the biggest gaming franchise meets the biggest energy brand in history. I know you guys can read that, but skip the beginning text and look down below. Based on extraordinary audience demand, retail and first party orders worldwide, Destiny exceeded $500 million on the first day of the launch. Destiny sold more copies than the first Call of Duty or the first installment of the Halo series. And you guys realize how popular both of those games are. Destiny is a huge marketing product. Destiny is reeling in the dough, guys. And why wouldn't Red Bull want to sponsor with Destiny? It's a win-win for Red Bull, as you guys can see. Red Bull is going to get a ton of more sales. But on the upside for Destiny, Destiny will also get some money from those sales and will also increase their revenue. I mean, more people will find out about Destiny because it's on the Red Bull Energy Drink cans and even on boxes. It's going to be everywhere. Here's some other interesting statistics to take in as well, guys. Starting from the title, gaming represents a major opportunity to increase consumption and brand relevancy. As you guys can see here, over 50% of US households own a video game console and 61% of Americans regularly play video games. Now that is a pretty high statistic, but there's more. Red Bull can help improve performance and gaming occasion and also improve focus and reaction speed. So overall, your performance and gaming will become better. I mean, that is what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to help you improve your performance, but it's not necessarily a guarantee that Red Bull is just gonna be like, yep, I'm better now. No, that's not actually what's gonna happen. They're just trying to increase their sales by saying this. But that is something that is supposed to happen out of Red Bull energy, but it's not gonna happen once again to everybody. Also, Red Bull consumers are 159%, now that's once again another high statistic, guys, more likely than the general population to own or play online computer games. So next time you see someone buying a Red Bull, you instantly know they game in some kind of way. More than likely. Pretty interesting in my opinion. Anyways, lastly but certainly not least, as you guys can see, Red Bull also has a credible story in gaming esports. That's about it for the facts I had to share with you guys. I wouldn't doubt either that we'll see a few commercials on TV about Red Bull and Destiny when it does start hitting the shelves. And also one more thing before I go, I mean, what is your guys' opinion on how Dying Light's community is treating their DLC compared to how Destiny is treating their DLC? What's your opinion about all of that, guys? But anyways, guys, that's about wrapping up this video. Hopefully you guys have found this video enjoyable. And as always, if you did, please remember to leave a like. And also, if you're feeling really generous with me, It'll be much appreciated if you decide to share the video because that helps even more. But as always, guys, thanks for the support in the end. And remember to stay safe and, well, don't sleep and pee. That's also important information. Peace out.